This is your boy G Bruce with the Backyard Stories, man. And today we're here at Fitness Hustlers. We want one of these cold boxing technique artists, man. He be weaving like Bruce Lee and everything. Mike Tyson, they can't, they can't touch him, man. No, but it's my, that's my homie Edgar Zub Zubia, man. How you doing, bro? Man, I'm doing good, brother. Thanks for having me. Thanks for yeah, coming man. out here and, and, and doing this for us. Yeah, man, this is actually really good. Like I came here, I was not expecting the quality. I wasn't expecting like all like. The equipment here, I wasn't better none of it, man. So, like, how do you feel about everything so far? Man, we, we're we're excited to to take this this new step as as our as our as our crew uh, or as our team, Bad Boy Boxing. You know, we we partnered up with uh, Pablo. You know. Uh, fitness hustlers and, yes, and we, we've got you know we've got a full-size ring we've got bags we've got this uh turf back here where I, we've got sleds ropes tires we've got so many different torture devices yeah. for these kids and for my adults yes. <laughs> yes. No, you know to get them in shape get get them mentally prepared to, yes, to step into the ring and and be able to fight so right yeah. all right so you said bad boys boxing huh? bad boys boxing so yes. um, talk to me about that first of all like where did the name come from, Bad Boys Boxing? Bad Boys Boxing, man, it, it originated um, two and a half years ago. We were uh, a couple friends. You know, I, I had a, a boxing gym before COVID. Before okay. COVID, we, we started, I started training uh, a couple a couple guys at the high school. Yeah. And, you know, I, I wanted to take them out there, kind of just embarrass them, because I didn't want to coach. I didn't want to coach at all. Yeah. It's like, come on, coach, train me, train me, train me. So we went out there, and then within a week, it kind of backfired on me. I had you know double the students yeah. camp students within a month I more. was raising yeah it was raising so it, it was it was I was blessed uh, still blessed uh, and with that said they 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 were like man you guys are some bad boys man they all got some bad boys and I was like man that's that's that's, that's a good name it, it clicked with yeah, you it clicked and, and you know and then my, my buddy Tony he's like hey man let, that's bad boys let's yeah. we, we, we some bad boys here yeah. so so after a while it started to hey, it started to stick and yeah. it started it started to go and that's that's what that's what we're at now hey, so man, bad boys boxing so how in the world did bad boy get connected with excuse me about that about fitness hustlers and uh fitness hustlers and Pablo well, I've known Pablo for for many years. Okay, um, and yeah, I, go way know, back. Yeah, we go way back. Yeah. Uh, he, he's he's seen me fight, and we we we've, we've okay. been we've been friends for for a good for a good while. And he opened up the this, this gym, and he's he was he was going to open up the gym, and he's like, man, are you interested in coming to coach? I said, yeah. He goes, what do you need? And I said, man, I need a ring, and I need you know some space. Yeah. And so he's like, okay, you know, a couple months ago he goes, hey, you ready? I said, man, all right, let's do this. So, uh, you know, I come in and. Uh, um, We'll be, well, I'll be bringing my team, which is already established. I got a team that's established. About 15 fighters. I have competitive fighters. 15 of them? Yes, sir. I have, I have 15 right All now. All bad boys, huh? All bad boys. Woo! All bad boys. So um, I have 15 of these fighters, and they 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 are competing. I have you know we we, we fight and we're training every day. So uh, my classes are very intense. You know, I'll just put yeah. it out there. They are very intense. Yeah. You know? So and, you, you ain't coming in and walking apart. It's gonna be you nah, gonna you gonna get a good workout. Yeah, you're you're gonna get a workout, and you're you know my my main goal is my main goal is to get uh, my my main goal is to build fighters. Yes, sir. Build build yes, sir. fighters, not just you know come in and do a cardio class. So like yes, we will have cardio classes like that, but my main focus as a bad boy team is to be a competitive gym. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you um is that where you see yourself in the next five years? Like what do you see? You and your team at the next five years from now. Within the next five years, I, I, I do see myself having having professional fighters. Uh, right now, I have a bunch of amateur fighters that yes, are sir. that are coming up the ranks. By five years from now, I'll have I'll have guys that'll be ready to turn professional and and make that that next jump from amateur to professional level. Yeah. So, oh um, my God. Yeah. Yes. That that's my main goal is is to take it to that next level to get fighters to not only do good in 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 the amateurs but it's good in the professionals yeah well, uh, who's some of them names that you know I me mean, that you kind of that people need kind of look out for right now Cause i know you got the youngest right now you know what i mean but the, the oldest ones are kind of be the one that's on the way to you know breaking that veil and stuff so well right now i've got i've got geraldo madrano jr uh he, he he's one of my my top fighters he's 13 years old so within five years he'll he'll be 18 oh, be ready for birth that's a cold fight. killer right there yeah oh, man. i'm already so, scared of him right now. <laughs> hey man he's just no. a, he's almost as tall as that i know I seen him already, man. I seen the stars. I was like, you know what? Uh, that's a guy I'm not gonna make, man. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? He he been he been lifting some things in his, in his days. Yeah, he he's been working out really hard. Yeah. He when he started with me, he was 12 years old. Really? Uh, 12 years old, and he was a little chunk. He weighed he weighed 160 pounds. So oh my. Wow. Yeah, and he's been here with me almost a year and a half, and. Um, He's been with me a year and a half, and he's now fighting at 125. So he's lost 35 pounds, and he's got six fights with me. So that ought to tell you what type of regimen that we put these boys through. Like, it's not easy, but if you stick with it, you will get good, yeah. and you will learn discipline, and you will—I mean, it. 
And I heard it's better. I heard young man got his first TKO so just and recently, right? He did. He just his last fight he got a, his first uh, TKO. He got a hit to the body. You know, it oh, was crushed him up, huh? Hey man, it, they ain't nothing. If you ever been hit to the body and get the yeah. air knocked out of yeah. you, it's one of the worst feelings in the world. Yeah, because it's just pain and you can't breathe. You well, you can't stop. breathe and everything's yeah. still going on around yeah, you. For real. But if you get knocked out, you wake up and you're like, what, what happened? Yeah, did I win? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, we were. Yeah, you lost. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here's your beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But um, right now, I think we're going to get ready to transition because you're going to start showing me a little bit of the techniques about how yeah, you kind of sure. have your mindset and everything. So we're going to go ahead and cut through all the little intermissions, stuff like that. You know, let me get these gloves on. You're going to put on the mitts and everything, kind of show me a little bit of these bases and stuff like that. We'll stick right to it. I am right here. All right, so you're going to leave that front foot there. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, yeah, like, like this. Square right there, right? Square up, square up, like this. Okay. Okay. Both feet. Okay. So you're going to take that, you're going to take that right foot and just slide it back. All right. Yep. Further back. You got long legs, bro. Oh, okay. Yep, now you turn okay. that back leg just a little bit like that. Oh. Too much, too much. Too much. Too much. Yeah, right there. Now you bend that front knee. Bend that front knee. Okay. There you go. Right. It's going to be your left. That right hand. Right. Okay. So like that, you want to extend it all the way out. And you're gonna take a small step with this front foot. Okay. Yeah. 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 Straight up. Yeah. Yeah. Don't lean to the side. Straight to it. Right. Okay. Don't lean to the side. There you go. Okay. Just like that. All right. Now you're gonna come back. What you do here? You go one, and two. So you're moving feet, both feet. One, two. Okay. Okay. One, two. It's like a dance. All right. right. We square dance. All right. One, two. Oh, don't that's bring that part. foot. Don't, don't bring it forward. All right. Cause then you come like that forward again. You come forward again like that with both feet, right? Yeah. You bring that back to the floor like that. Yeah. Let's see if this real stuff is about real quick. Let me go ahead. years old. Getting groomed. Got it, hook. Alright, come over here. 
Come on. Let me see that man. Come on. Hey man, let me let me get off of here, man. Look, look, look here. I, I don't know if y'all seen all that, but man, that right there was real live action grooming. Man, Erica, how you feeling, brother? Man, I'm tired. So, y'all just seen that amazing, that amazing workout and everything like that. What, like, how did you build up the knowledge to know how to train these boxers? Well, uh, I started training when I was 12. I started fighting when I was 13. Uh, I fought amateurs from the time I was 13. Excuse me. Let's take time. time. Man. <laughs> man, I'm trying to time, Yeah, I know. From the time I was 13 to the time I was 24, I fought amateur. Um, won seven straight New Mexico State Golden Glove titles. Oh. Five-time Colorado New Mexico champion. Um, and competed in the National Golden Gloves uh, five different times. Uh, was ranked as high as number seven in the nation. So uh, after all that, I turned professional. Yes, sir. Uh, had nine professional fights. Were. Yeah. And then after that, uh, I had to I had to stop fighting. I, I had a car accident. Broke both arms completely in half. Oh. Whoa. Shattered my left hip socket. Yeah. Broke my left femur. I'm blessed. I'm. I'm. Blessed it's a out. blessed to be alive. Uh, and not be. Uh, hurt physically to where I, I can be walking. I, I'm still able to do the coaching part. I can't fight physically yeah. anymore. You can't get uh, into that, that full speed, that full no. impact and everything. No, not anymore. But you can be able to groom them yes. and to be able to have that mentality. So in a in sense, you got that mindset. Of what, you have the mindset of the professional boxer. You know what it takes to get exactly. to that round. You will literally fight an amateur until you, Golden Gloves and everything. Like, that's, the, that's the journey of a boxer. Golden Gloves, National Junior, Child, uh, Junior Nationals and stuff like that reaching over and stuff and then finally tapping into the professional. Yeah. So well, the fact that you have that knowledge and stuff like that, you're able to bless these kids and everything and see them soak it in and you're like, yes, I can absolutely, see it. Yes, absolutely. sir. You know, I, I, I want to be, like I told you at the beginning, you know, my my program and my, my vision for this program from the very beginning has been to have competitive fighters, yes, a competitive gym. Um, I do want to train people to get in shape if you're being bullied and all that good stuff, but my, my main focus, my goal is to train competitive fighters, kids that really want to learn, adults that want to learn, um, so they can compete. Yeah. Um, we do have, like you've seen just right here, he's, he's, my thir he's 13 years old. 13. 13 years old. Fast. Uh, fast, very, very strong. So, and he's just one of many. Yeah. One of many. Yeah, so, you got a team of 15 of them. Yeah, right, oh, right wow. now, because that's all I could take. But, yeah. as, you know, at the gym that we were at before, you can only take 15 fighters. Yes, sir. Now, with this, uh, it, it opens up, opens so, up the possibilities. Wow. So, oh, man. What's the most amount of fighters you think you can hold yourself before you might have to add somebody else with some knowledge in? Well, uh, I, my, my cap for, for my competitive class is going to be 35 students. 35. 35 yeah. students. I would love to have more, yes. but to be realistic and for me to, uh, in an hour and a half, to really focus on all those kids. And get everybody the right amount of yeah, yeah, you, you, you can't do, you can't you do, do more than that. Better. Yes, sir. So the group that I do have, I mean, they will get, they will get training. They will be... Um, Trained physically hard. Yeah. They were trained Man, mentally, to, physically. I, I seen a lot, and then he, you can see my mindset change after a while. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you can see like, okay, yeah. that's yeah. that's what I need yeah, to do. No, yeah, most definitely. Um, where can people contact you? You know what I mean? If they want their kids to be up in there, because again, coming from where we're from, there's not many options for young kids right. out here. Like literally, it's. It's either, you know, some crazy gang stuff, street stuff or stuff like that, or a penitentiary lifestyle. Yeah. And we trying to abort all that anyway. So, like, no, absolutely. kids, people and parents who are seeing it that want this lifestyle, they, they, they get inspired by this. How can they contact you to be able to get within this? You know what I mean? Absolutely. So, they, they can contact me through Facebook, uh, Edgar Zubia um, on Facebook. Um, they can come down to the gym if they, if they say, hey, look, you know what? I, I really want my son to do it. Come down here and watch. We already have we already have fighters that are here competitively. You can see the type of workout that we're doing um, to see if that's something that your kid and yourself is going to want to do. Yes, sir. Because uh, when you when you take when you take a, a step into 
into fighting or into boxing, it's not just, just the kids. It's, it's also going to be the parents because when the kid fights, the parents have got to be prepared yeah, yeah. mentally. Yeah. So we've got to prepare. We've got to prepare the kids and as the well as them because we're all a team. We're all a yeah. Family. We're all at one. Yeah, yeah. No, most definitely, man. That stuff is beautiful. I think you couldn't explain it any better. So any fighter that is working with you, what is one thing that you know they're gonna leave with? What is one message or one energy or one thing that they discipline? All, discipline, yes, sir. Yes, sir. There you have it right there. I think after now we're about to get ready and talk to one of the fighters or something like that. Get a chance to holler at them and kind of see what their mindset is about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Edgar, I really do appreciate this, man. Like, Thank you, brother. Man, this appreciate stuff right here it, is beautiful. Thank yes, sir, you. man. Hey, man, it's your boy, G, bro. Tap All right, man. I'm, I'm here with one of the greatest ones out here. Miguel, go ahead and tell me your name, brother. Uh, my name is Rado Madrano Jr. Yeah, and you 13 years old, brother? Yes, sir. Oh, my gosh, bro. So tell me this. Like, when did you start wanting to, like, you know, become a boxer or a boxer? Always as a kid, I always loved watching it. Just people getting in, yeah. beating each other up. Yeah. I thought it was awesome. Yeah? Yes, sir. So, like, who are some of the people that you grew up to, like, that's your inspiration, that's your motivator. Who you look up to in the, in the boxing world? Besides Edgar himself, you know what I mean? Because I'm even cold. Uh, a lot of Mexican fighters like Chileno Sanchez. Okay. Uh, Marquez. Yes. A lot of them. Yeah, well, Mexican. You met from that dude, Ryan Garcia? Yes, sir. Yeah. I, I, I was telling people, I said, Matthew, your, your, the way your feet is, your stature and stuff like that, you, you resemble a lot of what he does, I think. And, man, it was ferocious out there. So, what do you think about Edgar's culture, man? What do you like about Edgar the most? Uh, he always loves to get you mad, so it just makes you work yeah. out harder. Yes, yeah. sir. What do y'all call him in here? Y'all call him Coach Zub, or what do y'all call him? Just Coach. Y'all call him Coach? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. So you like the way that he gets the, he brings that anger and everything, huh? Yes, sir. Hey, Coach Zub, man, how, how, do you, how did you find about the young man? Where did that come about? Well, so his, his dad, my assistant coach, we grew up uh, since seventh grade together. He's right. one of my best friends. So he watched me fight, uh, you know, as, as an amateur professionally. You know, Junior has been around all my fights when I fought professionally. So yeah. he's got to see, you know, where I was at. Oh, wow. and, and, and my buddy, he's he's always liked it. So he's like, man, my, my son wants to fight. Yeah. Come on, baby, bring him down. Yeah. I got a gym. And one thing turned into the other. He, he started helping. He's been coaching now. And Junior's just taking off. Yeah. He's taking off. He's taking it off to another level. Um, and you know, coming the end of this year, I'll be turning him open, and he'll be he'll be fighting at his first national tournament. Are so you excited for that, bro? Step for us, step. Yeah. Step. always, always. Oh be. man! So tell me one thing: what's the what's the biggest challenge for you in terms of you being a boxer? Like, what do you find it the most hardest in terms of like you know boxing? Like, is it trying to learn how to jab right? Is it trying to like you know keep your uh your you know your cardio right? Like, what is it, man? <laughs> It's, he said it definitely the weight cuts. The weight cuts, yeah. The weight cuts, yes, yeah. Sir. So they're trying to uh, meet a certain weight line and everything, oh, and having yes, to like sir. get into a strict diet and then you like to eat, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. So and the family be cooking all the time and everything. So I know it's hard for you to have to. Hey man, I'm cool on all the, this good delicious stuff. But I'm gonna have to go to the. You know what I mean? Yes sir. Yeah. Hey, but I think over time you you gonna start learning how to like real get into it when it's time to real shine. You know what I mean? It'll be like that, you know what I mean? So, uh, where can they find you at? You got any social media? You got any Facebook or anything? Where can they find you at? So uh, I only got a Snapchat. That's all I got. Hey, man, what's, what's the Snapchat, yo? What about there, bro? Uh, it's JuniorQB69. Hey, man, go ahead and check out the Snapchat, bro, if you ever find it. Because, again, this is a, this is history in the, in the, in the incubation stage, you know what I mean? Yeah, y'all never know what's about to happen out here. If you want you want to tell anybody anything about how you're feeling, this is, like, this is all you now. What you want to tell them? Uh, I'm just excited. I, I really want to thank Pablo for the new opportunity for this gym. Because yes, our old gym, it was good, but, you know. Yeah, this, this, you feel comfortable here, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, it's a professional over here, man. It feels good. I like it. It takes, it takes us to another level as, as yeah. where we were at. Um, we loved where we were before. It was, yeah. You know, it's more of a private gym. But this, like I said, it, it, it takes the fighters that I have. It, it we can we can take up to the next level. Yes, sir. Well, and that, that's that's what we want. We I, want to be able to to reach higher yeah. levels than what we've been. Well, definitely. I think like back in the other one, you were able to kind of have that experience of like, okay, we're this is going to be a grinding moment right here. You know, what I mean, this is just a stepping stool. Like right now, let's go ahead and get in there. Y'all built a connection, a love to when y'all get something newer. Y'all not you know too much in the cloud. Y'all knew where y'all came from. Y'all knew where y'all started at. So you're like, you know what? This is us, you know I, what I mean? I, I've been, I've been, uh, what have I been telling y'all the last two weeks? Y'all are, y'all are the ones that are going to be leading class. I was like, everybody's going to be looking up to you guys. So if you guys ain't doing it right, what are they going to be doing? Yeah, sir. For so, real. Like, like, for real, like, right now, anybody that's coming new, they're not going to know what y'all were at at the last time. Like, oh, man, this, this, this new gym and everything, y'all haven't seen where we was at. We was out there struggling. And that right there is going to make you into a different type of fighter. You know what Absolutely. I mean? Yes, sir. Hey, man, it's your boy G, bro. We here with Coach Zub, and we got the man and him playing. Go ahead, tell me your name one more time. Gerardo Madrano Jr. Yeah, man, you're going to be hearing that a lot, bro. I'm going to tell you right now, man. Absolutely. Hey, thank you for letting me interview you, bro. Yes, sir. Hey, man, it's your boy G, bro. Diamond Rising, man. 
We out here at the Fitness Hustlers, bro. We got the bad boys boxing. It's your boy G Brothers. We out here signing out. Ooh, I've been feeling good today. I got me a nice little workout, man. I, done, I feel like I, I need to push some weights right now, but I'm not. But right now, I'm, I'm here with one of the head honchos, Pablo, man. How are you doing today? Good, sir? good, good. Pablo, what's your full name? Pablo know? Garcia. Yeah. Man, so how are you enjoying today, man? Because today was like kind of like a, a, a the ground up. Yeah, uh, it was, it, it's been crazy and it's been a relief, man. We've been, man, we've been working on this since February. This whole week has been crazy, crazy. I mean, cleaning up. Yes. Um, We were here literally. 12 hours yesterday. It's been crazy, but we're finally open. I'm, I'm glad. I'm yes, glad. sir. Um, I, people that know me, you know, I was always a personal trainer at the time, but the whole talking truck, you know, messed my whole motivation up. But I'm ready. I mean, like I said, back to it, man. Yeah, we're good. We're like good. I said, there's highs and there's lows, and you yeah. get back on the high again. I'm ready. I'm ready. Like yes, I said, I'm, it, pretty much this is my kid's gym yeah. right here. So, uh, um, real quick, talk, talk to me about Fitness Hustlers. Where did you even come up with the idea to make a gym? Well, Fitness Hustlers, three years ago, me and Jeremy French, we came up with the name because we came up with a, uh, it was a personal trainer team. It was only a team. Word. So it was like an athlete uh, team. That's what, that's what it was. It was never, it was supposed to be a team. It was supposed to be a team. This is when I was in, you know, my, when I was yes, doing sir. personal training. Yeah, personal training, sir. So we called it Fitness Hustlers. And then, um, you know, 2020, hey, I lost my motivation. Jeremy kept still doing his, uh, his thing. Yeah. Um, but then, you know, I, I, I trying to figure out a name. I'm like, what, what can I name it? I can't name it. The gym or yeah, just any other thing. Right. So I was like, you know what? Like, let's 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 hit fitness hustlers. Like that was our, our, our name together that we came up with. So all we did added was you know training center. Yeah, fact. and it is a training center. It's not. We, I was gonna add fitness hustlers gym. Yeah, but it, it is a training center. You see how big it is. Yeah, we we are adding more stuff into it. So once y'all see the video. You'll see what we all got going on. We still have a lot of machines coming in. Oh my God. We got 15 more machines coming in. We still have a big old jungle gym coming in. We still, have, we're, we're planning to do a sauna in this back room. Uh, oh, snap. Yeah, we yeah. still have, I mean, we still have a lot of stuff coming in. Yeah. Um, this is, this is, this is not even it. So tell me, how did you find this building particularly? Um, just the renter, the, the realtor that, that, that helped me. She, yeah. she, she, uh, she helped me get in and everything and, I see now. I was like, this is perfect. Yeah, man. So uh, also, I see that we got some boxing here. Tell me about the yeah. We got boxing. Had. Um, I, I that just came in my head. Um, I hit up Zubia maybe back in March, and I told him, hey, I needed a coach um, to do the boxing. I, I wanted the, an actual boxing ring, not just a padding flooring. Yes. I um, mean, I ended up getting the ring, and then I hit him up, and we, we just connected, and now we're ready to work. Work, huh, mm -hmm. man? So I also heard that you are a man. So you just told me that you did personal training before you became this business owner over here. Uh, but I also heard that you said you had a taco truck. Yeah, we had, I had two taco trucks for two years and I, I ended up cashing out. I, I was done. I was, was done with, yeah, done I was with done. the food game. I, I mean, I got other business. I, I, people that know me, I mean, I, I DJ for the last 22 years. What the hell? Um, I have limo service, uh, party bus service. I mean, yeah, oh, I, I, yeah. oh, yeah. So I'm busy 24 hours a day. Well, you are uh, working, working <laughs> yeah. man. So like, do you feel like that's just how you, like, you're just doing stuff that you are interested in or like? It's, it's just, just been something mind. different. Yeah. Um, the gym itself, like I said, uh, I am getting older. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pass this to my son once he's ready, once he Amen. gets the, the, the mindset, the, the mindset yeah. to it. Um, if, I mean, like I said, if anything else happens to me, then this is him. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. Like mostly I got it. I got it so he can stay out of trouble. He's about to be, uh, you know, he's about to get out of high school already. So oh, man. This so is going to keep out of trouble. He loves hey, it. He loves hey, it. Man, I was telling Edgar that like, like where we come from, I don't know where you're from, Hobbs or anything. Yeah. Dude, we don't have many options for us to, yeah. make, to make it out. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And for real, it can get very slippery that if you don't have a place like this to where you can, you know, do yeah. what you need to do. Yeah. Man, so uh, where can people really uh, find you? Where are you located at, man? I, I'm over here. We're at 110 West Broadway. Uh, you know, we're literally the middle of Broadway. Um, you cannot miss. You can't this miss is the big banner. Oh, yeah. Um, you just can't miss us. So 110 West Broadway. We are doing a special for um, right now. Grand opening special will be forty dollars a month. We are twenty four hours. Um, once we get all this other equipment in and you know all this the sauna and stuff that we're the, the, the price will change to fifty. But right now we're gonna we're, we're comfortable at forty right now. Yes, sir. Yeah. So what do you see this place being in the next three years? Five years. Bigger. We might be moved by then. Ooh, I love uh, yeah, that. well, we might be, we might find another place yeah. maybe soon. Um, bigger. I mean, there's. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a UFC ring in here as well. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to change it up. Yeah, man. Yeah. That right there be good, brother. Yeah, so we have a lot. We have a lot of uh, stuff coming up. I mean, we're gonna do 
live DJ club nights where we're going to shut these lights off. We're going to put black lights around, laser lights. I already have a DJ booth that we're going to set up over there. So we're going to do it on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, after the sun goes down, it'll be like eight o'clock. We're gonna do it's gonna it's gonna look like a, a an actual club in here. Oh my! Oh, yeah, Papa, you, it's, gonna, it's gonna be nice. Hey man, it's gonna be nice. You you, you, too, you do it, you, man. You crazy man? Yeah yeah man. I like, I, so I, I like people that. that know me, man. I, I'm different. I'm yes. always different. I mean, every time I do something, even with the drug, I always have something different to come up. Yes. Maybe the limos, the party bus. Yeah, that's crazy. My, my DJ stuff. It's always something different, bro. Right. Yeah. So for any, so like you said, the man does anything from personal training to having this gym from limo services. Bus services. He's a DJ. Where can they really like contact you personally? Uh, I mean, they can, they can hit me up on Facebook. Everybody knows me on Facebook. Uh, phone number. There's two different phone numbers. Uh, my phone number is five seven five eight two five zero five zero eight. But we have another number for the gym, which I can't even memorize it, but it's in the front of the gym right yeah. there. You, you, you can find our, our pages on Facebook yeah. and Instagram. We'll drop a little clip down so everybody can see the number and everything. Yeah, yeah. Got no, it's now. all there. Like I said, you can go on our Facebook, just type in Fitness, Fitness Hustlers Training Center, and boom, you'll see the number on there. Ooh, yeah. All right. Is there anybody that you want to tell anybody who want to come there? Or is there one thing you want to leave everybody? Right, anybody's welcome, man. I mean, like I said, teenagers and up can come play. We, we do have two sofas over there. Y'all, 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 You'll see in the video we have you know a little oh, yeah, set up over there where you know you can bring up just you know moms will bring their kids whatever they they'll, they'll be set up over there. Okay, got a little something hooked yeah. up, yeah. got a little something they can play a little Maybe game. Maybe later thing. on I'll add an Xbox or something. Yeah. There, so. But right now but most you of the time like you know everybody has the iPads and everything. Yeah. So like I said, a little cow system somebody can chill and yeah. relax. So like if they really want to expand or even after couple, the workout. Yeah. Know, most of the go time relax. they just go relax. Yeah. No, I mean mm -hmm. there might be a new place that you know some of these young kids can come out here chill out you know. Like, you know, stay out of trouble, stay out in the damn streets, and come over here and probably work out, lift some plates, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, get a good fitness life, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, we, like I said, I don't know if you guys, they'll, they'll take a picture of the, we do do fit meals as well. I got Pharrell uh, fit, Fitness Meals coming in from Odessa Millen. He does, he's insane on this food, it's delicious. If you're not, if you're not a customer, I mean a customer or a client in the gym, and you're just, you're at another gym and you don't want to switch gym, you can always come and get the, these meals if you just it's it's public for as well. Oh, so you don't have, uh, you don't have somebody they're, cooking for us? Oh no, they're already cooked. Yeah. All you gotta do is just heat them up. They're sure. delicious, man. He he he, he knows the stuff. I um, mean it has spices on it, it has it's, it's it, the, your it has the, the macros on there. Yeah. Uh, they're they're the bomb. Oh man. They're the bomb. You get it's like a one stop shop. Later on we'll start smelling smoothies maybe in there. I don't know. I got Hey, it's all there, bro. Hey, that's all. <laughs> Look, this is the mind of a true businessman, a true CEO in the making. And, like, literally, his brain is endless in terms of the ideas that he has. So, literally, tap in with him because I'm pretty sure that if you have a business venture that you want to tap in with the man, he probably can facilitate it to you. Cause oh, I yeah, easy. I didn't see him erect the taco truck. I didn't see him made the gym. The man didn't, I didn't, I didn't even know he had limo and bus services <laughs> at that. So, that just means that this man is really working out here. Uh, again, Pablo, I want to say thank you for the fitness holders and sure. let us come you, over man. here and talking to everybody again. Uh, is there any kind of events that you have for yourself? Uh, it's always going to be different events. And we'll, we'll, I mean, we'll, we'll be posting them right now. Okay. We'll, we'll be, well, me and Zobia, we're thinking about doing some amateur fighting where all the gyms from Hobbs or even from out of town, they'll, do, they'll start doing some amateur thing. We'll move everything around, put some chairs here. Yes, I mean, we have we have so much ideas. So just basically, stay tuned. If you're, if you're not tapped in, tap in right now. You you know where the Facebook at. You know where the website's at. Look it up, and so that way we can go ahead and let's start getting to it. And then once again, it's your boy G Brooks. We have Pablo here at the Fitness Hustlers Diamond Rising Backyard Stories. Man, we love to be here. It's your boy. We out here signing out. Peace.